Hello everyone, it's David Taylor at Web Media with this week's online marketing secret and it's all about how to set up a PayPal button on your website so you can take payments. So first thing you need to do is to set up a PayPal account, it's pretty straightforward. Go to the PayPal site, paypal.co.uk, just follow the instructions and you'll soon be able to set up your account there, but that's not what I'm going to show you today. So I'm assuming you've got your account in PayPal and I'm going to log, <coughs> log into mine now. It's just logging me in. And to create a button, you go to the profile navigation tab here at the top and go down to my selling preferences. Click on that and you'll be presented with a lot of different options. The one that you want to click on though is this first one, PayPal buttons, manage my payment buttons and just click on the update link on the right hand side. And it's now going to give you a number of options and the one I'm going to direct you to again is on the right hand side and it's this one called create new button that I've highlighted. So click on there. <clears throat> And now it'll ask you to specify a few things. What kind, first of all, what kind of button do you want? And the one I'm going to show you is the is buy now. So just go to the drop down menu and select buy now. And then the next thing is um, the item that you are going to sell. And for the purposes of this, uh, let me just use an example that is um, called website. Okay, so my item that I'm going to sell is called website. I can also give it an ID, which I'll give as W1. And now you need to specify the currency and the price. Currency on the drop down gives you lots of different options. I'm going to stick with UK, which is uh, GBP. And I'm going to put in a nominal price of £100. Now, there are various other uh, customizable elements to this but I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to stick with the basic buy now button which you can see a preview of in the center of the page right here that's what it's going to look like on your web page now you can also specify an additional amount for postage down underneath this box and for the sake of argument let's put 395 in there and then when the customer comes to check out uh, that's what will be added to the cost. And it now gives you two um, options to s use my secure merchant account ID or use my primary email address. And I'm going to leave it with uh, the secure merchant account. And all I need to do now is to click on create button. And it's put that information into a piece of code which is now in the middle of the page right here. And this is the code that you need to uh, put into your uh, website. So I click on select code, which is going to highlight it. And then I press control and C, which is going to copy that code. And then I'm going to come away from PayPal and into my um, web page editor. And I'm going to click on, in this case, new page. A new page I'm going to create. There's my basic uh, parameters for a new page. Now, in your case, you would open whichever page you wanted to feature this PayPal payment button on. And I control and V and it copies that that code that I just took from PayPal, copies it straight into the page now. And if I go up to preview what that page would look like in the browser, you can see that that code is now turned into the PayPal buy now button. And this is what it would look like on your website. So. Just to test whether it works, if I hover over it, you can see that the cursor becomes a hand, which means it's a clickable link. And if I click on that link, what should happen is that it should take me to Pay PayPal, the secure server payment uh, location on PayPal. And as you can see, that's where I am. And this is where your customer would be. Now your customer could either pay at this point using their own PayPal account or they could pay 
If they don't have a PayPal account, they could pay using a standard debit card or a credit card. And that's where they'd fill out their details on this right hand portion. But what you can see on the uh, left side of the screen is the order summary. And you can see that um, it has come up as website, which was the uh, description I gave it to, the item number W1 and the item price uh, £100. And then under this, you can see that it's added the postage and packaging that we put in at 395 So it does that all automatically for you. And if I filled out my bank cards here on the right hand side and then click continue, the payment would be made and it would be credited to your business's PayPal account. And you can either leave it there or you can transfer it to your bank account, whatever you see fit. So that is the basic way in which you can start to take direct payments securely and at very low cost on your web pages or your blog. And um, I hope that uh, that might inspire you to get involved in some e-commerce. So until next time on Online Marketing Secrets, it's uh, bye for now.